Hi, it's Miss Davis. We are now going to work on understanding place value and that place value chart. With place value, each digit is 10 times greater than the digit to its right. So you're saying, what does that mean? So in order for us to dig deeper and really understand, let's put together a place value chart. This is our blank place value chart. The job, our ones. And if we're following the theory, then we know that one times 10 will give us our next place value. So one times 10 is 10. So we're gonna put 10 here. We're gonna write 10. Now we're going to move on to the next place value, 10 times 10. Now we're looking at 10 times 10. What is 10 times 10? We know that 10 times 10 is 100, and this falls in with the theory that each value is increased by 10 to its right. So 10 times 10 is 100. We're going to put 100 here on our place value chart. Now let's move on to the next place value, which would be 100 times 10. Now we're looking at a hundred times ten to find our next place value and we know a hundred times ten is going to give us one thousand I'm now going to add one thousand to our place value chart I want us to just have a clear reference of what each place value represents. We have ones, we have our tens, we have our hundreds, we have our thousands, and this is our place value chart in its entirety. We have our ones, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands. We have the written form. Also, we have the value for each one. And when we talk about place, I want to think about, I want us to talk about some of the vocabulary that we heard, place. So place is just like an address. That's going to be the location on the chart. And we know we have the ones, that's the location. Tens is a location, hundreds is a location, thousands is a location. So when we're talking about value, we're talking about numeric amount, and that can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to infinity. The value is just a fancy way of us to say how many ones, how many tens, how many hundreds, how many thousands, and so on. So let's start representing. Here we have two tens. We're thinking to ourselves, how do we rep represent two tens? So tens, that's giving us a location on the chart. We see that the tens is our location. But now we're thinking, how many tens? You see that numeric value? That two is giving us the amount of tens. So let's add two tens. Two tens are there. And that is how we would represent two tens. So remember, when you see tens, that's location. When you see a numeric value, that's telling you how many tens. Thank you for watching.